This is the third video in the T2 Laser Starter Series. I will cover the sketch feature, which lets you create basic drawings. So let's begin. Click the sketch icon. You can either select your machine size from the defaults or the custom option. You don't usually require the full laser size, so would select the custom option. I will enter 200 by 100 for this example. The lower left is the origin, or 00, zero location. On the toolbar we have a select hand, text, line, polyline or multi-line, rectangle and ellipse tools. Let's start with a polyline. I click to set the first point. As I move the cursor, the X and Y locations are displayed in the status bar, along with the distance. I click again to set another point, and again. Then to finish the shape, I can use the right mouse button. I could also leave the shape open by pressing the escape key or changing the tool. So now let's use the select tool to highlight one of the line segments. I can press the delete key to remove it. I can also select the trash can to delete all shapes and clear the sketch. Now I will press the I key to display the overlay. This is also available in the drop down settings menu. Let's also turn on the grid and right click to change the spacing from 5 to 10 millimeters. I can also right click on the zoom tool to change the level of magnification or left click to use auto zoom. OK, let's draw a rectangle. Select the icon, click to set one corner and then the next. Now I will highlight it using the select tool and press the P key which shows the parametric input screen. We can see the start and end positions, width and height of the rectangle. If we edit the points, we can see the size change. As it's still selected, we can also click and drag to move the shape. Let's clear the sketch, and I will also disable the grid and overlay. Now let's pick the text tool. I can enter some text. I could change the font size and style now, but I prefer to do it later. So I will click to place the text. If I press the escape key, it switches to the select tool and I can click the text to highlight it. Now I can easily change the settings and move it if needed. Let's look at the parametric input screen. So press P. I can add additional text. And choose center alignment. The last feature I want to show you is arc text. First we need an ellipse. Okay, now we select it and click the arc text tool. Enter some text. Select the font and size. The position allows us to move the text around the ellipse. The negative 1 setting attempts to center the text, but how it looks will vary by font. We can place the text on the opposite side by selecting counterclockwise. There is also an option to place the text inside the ellipse, which produces a tighter spacing. Once you are happy with the result, click the check mark. The text is no longer linked to the ellipse, so it can be deleted or used to add more text if desired. Now to complete the sketch and generate the G-code, we click the gear icon. We can also choose to fill the sketch, in which case it will be engraved by scanning.
Sketches can be loaded or saved from within the sketch module. You can also right click the sketch icon to load a saved sketch. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to get updates on my future videos.